Welcome back to the Luxurian Curls channel. In this video, I'm going from this to this. Yes, a spring twist tutorial, so let's get started. My hair is damp because one, I need the shrinkage, and two, the hair attaches better to damp hair. These are the products I will be using in the video today, including the spring twist hair. All products and the type of hair I'm using will be in the description box below. First, take a strand of hair. Since I want short twists, I'm going to cut the hair into two pieces. Then I'm going to separate the piece into two. If I wanted to do a twist with no ombre, I would just add the hair just like this. But since I want the ombre effect, I'm going to reattach the top sections together. I sectioned my hair using just my fingers. I know the part is sloppy, but you're not going to be able to see the sloppy parting once the twists are all in. I put this next part in slow motion so you can at least see somewhat how I attach the hair. I place the synthetic hair on top. Using my index finger, I separate my hair into two sections. My hair is one strand. The synthetic hair with some of my hair is the second strand and only the synthetic hair is the third strand and I braid as normal. I know that might be confusing to understand. Honestly, it just takes you feeling what works for you and where your hands naturally fall. Just try to keep your fingers close together, making sure your middle finger always stays under the braid so that the braid is tight and secure and the synthetic hair won't slip off or it's loose at the root. When my natural hair is the middle strand, I separate to have two pieces and twist as normal. Make sure to twist each strand separately before twisting them together to get the spring twist effect. And after the twist is fully twisted, just take some scissors and snip off the excess hair. And there you have it, a spring twist. The back is all complete. I'm now going to show you how I twist the front and how I use the products I mentioned in the beginning for this style. My hair is a little dry at this point, so I spritz my hair with water. I add the Rice Water Remedy Leave-In Conditioner which acts as a detangler so I can separate my hair with ease. I add Onion Homemade to moisturize my scalp and add Shine and Jam to smooth my hair and root. For the front, I attach the hair from the bottom. I wrap the synthetic hair around my natural hair. I don't separate the strand into two like I did the back because it's difficult for me to do that with the way my hands are positioned. My hair is one strand and the synthetic hair is the second and third strand. Then I braid. The reason why I braid the front section differently than the back section is because I'm not able to grab the hair in the front section in the exact same way that I do in the back section without the twist being loose. So I let my hands fall naturally in the front and this is the way I found I could attach the hair so that the twist is tight and the synthetic hair won't slip out. When my natural hair is the middle strand, I separate and twist. I place a clip on the knot to keep the braided section in place while I twist the remainder of the hair. I 
I add shine jam to the ends to seal and clip off the excess hair. I'm adding wrap lotion, but mousse is much better to smooth the hair and make it look neater. I'm spritzing my hair with Hask Biotin Leave-In Spray for just extra moisture. And here's the finished results. This took me 12 hours to complete, but I absolutely love me some spring twists. All right, I hope that you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You guys have an awesome hair day, and I'll see you next time.